Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do April favorites. I know I am a bit late in the month, but it is better late than never and I have so many fun things to share with you. So I'm going to give you a little heads up. This is a little heavy on the fashion front. Did a little bit of travel to New Orleans in the month of April and so of course I had to pick up a few things that would be appropriate for that hot humid weather. So April's favorite will of course include beauty, skincare, fragrance, but I am a little bit heavy on the fashion this month, but I have some adorable pieces to share with you. The perfect nude sandal, some new hot it sneakers. So if you are interested in seeing my April favorites, then let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we're going to start with some beauty products here, and this is a repeat favorite, but I had mentioned last month that I have fallen in love with the brand Swede, and that I was going to be picking up the Miracle Powder in Light. I started with the um, light medium shade, and it totally worked, but my ultimate favorite is in light and I am not somebody who even loves powder foundations and I am obsessed with this Miracle Powder Foundation. So it is just like the perfect foundation. I can't even believe it. I literally have been wearing um, a little bit of concealer and then this powder has been like my go-to combination for I want to say almost the past two months. So I just take a little bit of this and yes I did pick up the Swede powder brush to go with it. You can use any brush, but I actually really like this. And then you're just going to buff this into the skin here and it gives your skin just the most beautiful, healthy glow, but it does give you some coverage and it just lets your skin shine through. But I think I'm just so shocked by the amount of coverage I get, how it blurs out any imperfections. I literally have just been obsessed with this. And yes, I do have the Swede Glass Skin Tint, which I also like, but if I was to recommend one or the other, um, I actually really love this Miracle Powder. That is like my number one and I've just been loving it. Kind of this easy foundation look using this powder along with some concealer, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, kind of what I've been using, the combination, and I've just been obsessed. So definitely recommend the Swede products. I have loved everything that I have purchased from them and I was so excited because the brand actually gave me a discount code to share with you. Um, so that is Abby-20 for 20% off and literally I bought this stuff myself and I love it. So, but I am just thrilled with all of my Swede purchases. The, the Airblush Cream in Lucky just makes me so happy. It's just a beautiful poppy little flush on the cheeks. So this has been my favorite foundation for the past month and currently. And then the other product that I have been using that is not new, I had purchased this when it first launched, but this is from Monica Blunder. And this is the Blunder cover. And I am somebody who does really love a cream or stick foundation and I have been using this as my concealer slash kind of where I need it on my face. So what I've been using is my Bloom Effects. This is my Tulip Du Sunscreen Serum. This has a slight tint to it. Then I have been going in with my Blunder Cover and I have this in the shade Three Dre, and I also am tempted to pick up shade, I believe it's 
five, um, a little bit brighter. This shade three completely works for me. You're gonna see kind of sinks right into my skin here. And this is just such a great product. It is so forgiving on more mature skin. And I've been just kind of wearing it underneath my eyes, any place I might need a little bit more coverage, but going in kind of light and then really going in with my Swede Miracle Powder and just really buffing this into the skin. And I swear this little combination has just been like my go-to. I just have been loving it so much for foundation. And I think as we're moving into the warmer months, less is more and i also love the fact that all these products are clean beauty brands that are going to be good for my skin so really have been enjoying that little trio i guess i would say i was calling it the duo but yes this does have a teeny tint but honestly it just kind of once you massage it into your face it disappears i think it's just to mask some of that white um the white cast that you can get from SPFs. So that has been my favorite complexion combo. And I wanted to give a little shout out to my friend Stacy for kind of reminding me to pull out this blender cover. I've had kind of forgotten about it and then I have just now been obsessed with it again. So always fun to pull out some oldies but goodies as well. Okay moving on to a bit of makeup. Um, Chanel had some great new launches in April and one of them was the Love Beige. This is the Healthy Glow Sun Kissed Powders and and this is a lovely trio of colors. So you've got bronzer, highlighter, and a blush color. And I actually picked this up in the shade Light Coral. I was kind of debating between the Rose Gold and the Light Coral, but kind of wanted to mix it up a bit, add a little bit of warmth to the skin. And I've actually just been loving this because it is fantastic for travel. Literally, you can do a whole face. You've got your bronzer, blush, highlighter, but then I was using this on my eyes as well. And I just think it's such a pretty contrast of colors on the face. So that is what I have on my face right now. And one way I like to do it is I just kind of go all the way down the center, mix that up. We'll just put a little bit more on. And I just think it is just a beautiful wash of color on the skin. And this is just so great for travel when you want to take minimal makeup. Um, this can kind of do it all. So I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of this product, but I've really been enjoying it and kind of wearing it nonstop since I picked it. And I also launched single shadows. I was already a fan of their single shadows. Talpa is one of my absolute favorites and I ended up picking up four of the shadows and I'm going to share kind of my favorite ones with you today. I ended up picking up the Quartz Fume. This is so beautiful. It's just like the perfect bronzy color. I think it's perfect for the summer months. I'm so obsessed with this one. That's kind of a very everyday eye color one and done. And then the next one is this gorgeous shade in Jade Facette. And this one is stunning on the eyes. I know this is a little out there from my normal look, but I love this one. It is so darn pretty. And you also can wear it very subtly on the eyes. This one is like so fun. I love this pop of color for spring and summer. And I think it looks really pretty with hazel green eyes as well. Kind of gives them a little pop. I think it would look beautiful on eye, all eye colors, but I was a little bit thrilled with that purchase. And then one of them that I was waiting to come back in stock that I am so thrilled about is this Blanc pearl. And when you first look at this, you might be like, hmm, but 
This is the prettiest. It's like a pink gold color. It is so pretty as a topper. And again, it's a little bit subtle. That's what I have on my eyes here. But when the light kind of catches it, it just kind of brightens up your eye a bit. So don't be deceived by this one. It is just so pretty on the eyes. I'm kind of obsessed with this, especially for sort of a clean girl aesthetic look. This is the perfect shadow to give your eyes a little oomph, um, but maybe wear a bit more of a bold eye. I just am so thrilled I got my hands on this one. I sold out right away. And then last but not least, I picked up this really soft pretty. This one's matte. This is Gris Paris. And this is such a pretty sort of transitional shade. And it is gorgeous, just kind of in the crease and a slightly above. This shade looks so pretty, kind of with a cool toned eye. I love to pair it with my favorite Stilo Ye in Marine, kind of a little soft gray and blue eye look. So that has been another favorite one. So as always, I love to hear from you. Which ones did you pick up? Is there any others that I need to pick up? I'm someone who actually loves single shadows because I often get a little overwhelmed with palettes. I also have hooded eyes, not a lot of like real estate to be putting a bunch of shadows on. So I really like a wash of color with a one and done eyeshadow. I love the formula of these. I always felt like these were sort of didn't get enough attention or love that they are a really great formula. They're creamy, long lasting. Um, they're very Chanel. It's not going to be like over the top. It's kind of understated elegance. And I have just been loving these single shadows. And I'm going to stick with Chanel for just a minute because they also launched a few new fragrance products. So the most exciting thing is that they launched a new Les Exclusif perfume. This is Comet and I am obsessed with this. I'm going to go ahead put this on right now because I did not put any perfume on yet today. I was waiting to actually share this with you to give you the full kind of immediate reaction of this. I know I've already done a review on this, but this is just beautiful almondy powder goodness. It is so elegant, so pretty. When you first spray this out, you definitely get that bitter almond note. It truly is stunning. And then the beautiful florals are going to kind of float in to the picture. There is cherry blossom in here, heliotrope, as well as beautiful powdery iris. And then it is grounded in these beautiful, I would say, Chanel musks. It is almondy powder goodness. I love it. It is feminine. It is pretty. It is elegant and very intoxicating. And I was so excited because this showed up right before I left to go to New Orleans. I did used to live there, but I have to admit I have been gone from there for so long that I sort of forget about that thick humidity that exists there. So I knew it was going to be a little bit warmer and hotter. I was excited about it, but I forgot about that kind of dense humidity. And I have to tell you that Comet was a perfect perfume in that thick heat because of that beautiful powderiness. It sort of added a little freshness. It made me feel slightly clean and it just had wafts throughout the day. So if you are somebody who lives in a humid climate, sometimes fragrances can react differently. You don't want something so dense. Um, it can be too thick and overwhelming. This one is perfection for that climate. It's perfect for here as well. I've just been really loving it. I'm definitely making a little dent here, but this one has been a complete winner for me. I love it so much and was so thrilled with this new launch. And then I have to go ahead and mention the next launch from Chanel. And this is their new 
body oils. I did end up getting this as a gift from my family and this is the Gardenia body oil. And these body oils are true luxury. This is definitely a splurge item, a gift item I would say, but these are going to be perfect for any of your Chanel lovers um, that are obsessed with these fragrances. They came out in four different oils with their top selling fragrances. They first one, Gardenia. They also came out with 1957 beige as well as coromandel. Now the problem is I love all four of those fragrances but the gardenia is one of my husband's favorite scent. It is just a gorgeous floral just what the name says. One of the best gardenia scents out there and this was a really beautiful special gift and, and I do have to tell you these truly are worth the splurge. The scent of the oil is exactly like the perfume. They layer so beautiful. They do not overwhelm the perfume itself and they can be worn on their own and they are just stunning that way as well and a little goes a long way so, so that was a lovely gift and I've been told that I need to pick up beige as well we'll see about that I have a birthday coming up in July maybe that will be the birthday present du jour but if you're looking for a gorgeous gift for your Chanel lover I am pretty darn sure they're going to go gaga over the new body oils. Now speaking of gorgeous floral fragrances I have one more to mention and this was a love at first sniff. I am a fan of Raja perfumes and this is the new Elysium Pour Femme and first of all the stunning bottle here this is an ombre glass bottle pink kind of blue purple shades and of course the bottle is just stunning it really is magical in person but the scent itself just is perfect creamy slightly fruity clean spring summer floral i've heard this be described as the best smelling like body lotion or hair conditioner and i don't want that to turn anyone off because i actually gravitate towards those slightly soapy clean florals and this fragrance is a beautiful fruity floral so feminine so pretty i described it as like the perfect bridal scent because it makes you feel like your best like most times when people are getting married and they're in their beautiful dress and they are and they're so excited to be marrying the love of their life that is the feeling that I get from this gorgeous perfume. I've been really loving this one. I also mentioned that if you're somebody who likes Dior, J'adore, um, I'm not saying that these are the same fragrance, but it's kind of in that genre, a slightly cleaner floral. And I really am enjoying this. I would say this one is just a bit more elevated, a little bit elegant, sophisticated, and it is just so pretty. The bottle inside the fragrance is just as beautiful and I've been loving on that one. as. And then for my French girl aesthetic, uh, a subscriber here, Farah, she completely slid into my DM and, and she told me that we needed to pick up Celine's, I believe it is pronounced parade, or in America we would say parade, but Farrah described this as the perfect chic Parisian 
girl scent. This has neroli and vetiver in here. It's also got sort of this effervescent um, sparkliness to it. There's citrus in here and this is just the perfect chic everyday scent. I had smelled the Celine line when I was in Paris a couple summers ago and I was attracted to this particular scent but I was all over the map because we were shopping in Paris and so it was so much fun to pick this up together, twin with her. We also got Cologne Celeste and we are going to pick up a few other of the scents. So we went ahead and picked up the Travel Atomizer because this is such a great deal because you get two perfumes with the Travel Atomizer. And then this way I can try more of the scents, but this is a perfect scent for right now. I love a Neroli scent and I love this scent and I think it will be fun to pick up a few more of these Travel Atomizer size perfumes and do a fun video for you on the Celine perfumes because I have been asked about those before. They definitely have their own DNA and I really have to be honest, I liked so many of them when I was there that I just couldn't pick just one. So this is the perfect route to go if you are in the same boat as me. So thank you, Farah, for giving me a little nudge to pick this. Okay, I also want to give a shout out to one skincare product. I have recently been asked what my favorite face oil is. I love face oils and I have many that I love, but one that you're going to see I am making a big dent in. Um, I have just been in love with the U Beauty, the super intensive face oil. And to be honest, this is literally what I have been using as my moisturizer. And I just cannot give it enough kudos. It is hydrating. It feels lovely on the skin. It is not greasy, but I love it because I feel like it plumps up my skin. I feel like it's doing good stuff, like nourishing my skin. I love moisturizers, but sometimes I feel like they just kind of sit on the skin and not actually penetrate in versus oils. I'm always feeling like I'm actually like massaging them in and that they're kind of penetrating into the skin and nourishing it. So wanted to give a shout out to this face oil and that is a video that I think would be good is sort of showing you some of my favorite face oils and the different ones that I like to incorporate in um, but clearly as you can see I am using this and I generally use this in the morning as my facial moisturizer. Okay as I said I have a lot of fun clothing items to show you this month so I'm gonna dive into that now but first First of all, I wanted to share, my husband and I took a trip to New Orleans. That is where we met. We both went to college in New Orleans. That's where I got married. That's where we bought our first house. So New Orleans always has a little sweet spot in my heart. It's also a place where my husband would love to move back to. So we just had the best trip going down there. We saw family, we saw friends, we explored a new New Orleans. There's so many new amazing things there. Um, a lot has changed since I had been back. I hadn't been there in seven years, which is crazy because we used to always go, you know, if not once a year, a couple times a year. But I was so surprised by how much had changed. There's just some things that are not ever going to change such as Commander's Palace. Love that place so much. But one shop that I discovered, I love shopping on Magazine Street. They have so many cute boutiques and all sorts of fun shopping on Magazine Street. And I ended up seeking out this beautiful dress shop. And this is called Sue Sartar. I actually got to meet the owner. She just happened to be there with her husband. So that was also super fun. So of course I had to pick something up. Oh. 
Okay, next I have a beautiful cardigan from Cezanne. We had a Cezanne pop-up here in Portland, so it was so fun to actually go shop at the pop-up, and I picked up the Betty. This is a beautiful cardigan slash you can actually wear this as a jacket as well and this comes in several different colors and I have been into color lately. I always love my you know basics, my beige, black, navies, grays, all that stuff but lately I've been turning into my mom. She was somebody who was a very colorful person. I grew up in a very um, colorful home. She had lots of fun bright colors in our house paint and all that kind of stuff and I have found that as I'm getting older I'm a little bit scared but I've been gravitating towards um, what we call my mom's name was Juliet but I'm becoming Juliet a bit I guess we all become our mothers as we age but I just thought this was such a fun, beautiful jacket. I love to wear this sweater cardigan um, with a white tank underneath. This bright kind of green color is just fun. It was screaming spring to me and I just love this piece to be honest. It's so cute with just your favorite denim. It looks great with sort of wide leg trousers. So adorable. Definitely recommend it. And again, this one comes in several different beautiful colors, but I was very attracted to this green color. Next, I had a little fun doing a quince fashion haul. As I said, I was kind of getting ready for my trip to New Orleans and did not quite have the right clothes to wear for heat and such. So I got some awesome dresses from Quince along with some cotton sweaters that I am just obsessed with. So much so that I have created a Quince capsule wardrobe. We are going to be going to Rome in a few short weeks. We're going in June <laughs> and again it's going to be hot so I have some new fun goodies to share with you but some of my favorites from the past month have been this beautiful dress right here. This, this is a 100% European linen and it's smocked right here dress. It is just perfection. It is a nice little maxi dress. It is so cute. It comes in several different colors. I cannot um, recommend this dress enough. I wore this a couple different times when I was in New Orleans. It is, looks really cute with your favorite sandals or your sneakers. I wore it with sneakers. We were walking all over and this was like the perfect dress. Another dress that I highly recommend is again this 100% European linen. This is a scoop dress. This is so flattering. This is just a really flattering dress. I picked it up in the white shade and honestly it is so cute. Um, I paired it with this cardigan here. I just really love the cotton cardigans from Quince. The price is outstanding. <laughs> especially with white. Um, I'm somebody who is definitely going to spill and I don't want to spend $300 on a dress for me to like drop avocado on it. Um, that's totally who I am and this is the perfect such a cute dress. You can also when you go in for the air conditioning just put on this really cute white cardigan here with the cute buttons. I just got a lot of wear out of this and again you can wear this with your sneakers. You can wear this with your favorite sandals. Um, just a perfect piece and I'm going to be taking both of those to Rome as well as some other cute dresses that I just got. And then another sweater that I cannot recommend enough is the Quince Cotton Fisherman sweaters. 
And these are just such good quality. The price is outstanding. And I love this white one. It is so darn pretty. I picked this up in a size small and I actually wish I'd gone up to a medium just so it was just a little bit um, bigger, a little bit flowier. This one fits perfectly but um, I just think that with kind of this cotton sweater I kind of want just a little bit bigger of a size. I will be picking up another one of these. I just, I just think it looks so beautiful especially with your denim or your shorts. Um, you can kind of put it over your tank again if it starts to get cool in the evenings or you're going in to eat and the air conditioning is blasting. Um, this is just beautiful quality. Um, I've been loving every single thing that I got at Quince and I'm excited to show you some more finds. Now speaking of turning in to my mom, we have had a little spate of wonderful weather like getting up to 80 degrees and such this past month and I was at Nordstrom and I saw this super fun shirt from Farm Rio and this is such a Juliet shirt just reminded me of my mom but I just fell in love with it. This is a linen blend shirt. It is so fun. It is so cute. This shirt actually comes with some shorts that I think would look so cute. I wasn't quite ready to do the full look so I did pick up the shirt and again I've been wearing this kind of with white jeans, denim, um, but this does have some shorts. I'll link that down below. Almost went for the whole outfit but opted to just get the shirt and I just have been loving this. It is just a really fun festive shirt and Farm Rio is just known for their colors. They have the cutest sundresses and this was just one I could not resist. Now the sweater that I'm actually wearing, I actually got this for Mother's Day but I'm going to mention it anyways because this too is Farm Rio and it is so cute. You guys, it is cotton. It's a crochet cardigan and it is belted. This is what my kids got me. They know I love a little combination of pink and red. I just think it is so fun. It is such a gorgeous gift and the fact that they got it for me for Mother's Day, um, I was just absolutely beyond. Okay, I have two more items to share with you. I have been on the hunt for the perfect nude sandal and when I saw these at Jenny Kane I had to pick these up. This is like the perfect nude. So nude shoes can kind of just blend in go with everything. I have several pairs of Jenny Kane sandals so I always know the comfort is there and this is the Eve sandal and I just thought this was such a beautiful strappy sandal simple elegant um, but again it's the perfect shade of taupe um, perfect nude it's not too deep it's not too brown um, I just find that this is actually like more like a cool toned taupe and I just love these sandals so much. I'm so excited to kind of pull them out, wear them a bit more, but these sandals just look perfect with everything. They are great with your sundresses, but they look so cute with your denim, especially if you're like wearing crop denim. Um, they just go with everything. So I wanted to highlight these because these are super cute. They are comfortable as with any sandal. I feel like I always have to break them in just a bit to kind of mold to my feet, but so far been loving these Eve sandals. I think these are the perfect nude sandal. And then on the sneaker front, um, my daughter always keeps me in the loop of what the it sneaker is. She is doing a summer abroad in Rome. That is why we are going to Rome to go visit her. But I always tell her she's going to walk a lot and that she needs to wear comfortable sneakers and she so avoids like anything that's athletic. The one sneaker that she was intrigued by and of course this is because Hailey Bieber wears them and these are Solomon 
These are the X6 sneaker here, and they are so comfortable. These are also Zoe approved, so if we want to stay kind of young and relevant, this is the sneaker to have. These are so comfortable. I love the zip tie here. They come in all sorts of color stories. I was just thrilled to find this one because it's neutral enough. It's got a little touch of color. This is actually navy, um, a little bit of tan here. But the key is that I am going to be walking miles and miles and miles, and you need to have a good pair of sneakers that can, you know, withstand that. And these are so comfortable. You can slip them on. I will give you a heads up. These are super popular right now because of Hailey Bieber. So they sell out rather quickly. So if you see um, a sneaker or a color story that you like in the Solomons, grab them. As we literally had to search high and low for these sneakers, these were the ones that she wanted. And I went ahead and got myself a pair because it was just all the rage and I'm so glad I did. So I will link these below, but again, they come in several different color stories. So if these particular ones are sold out, I think you'll find some other ones that you like just as well. So these are my favorites from the past month. Heavy on the fashion, just a different season, but I hope that everybody is going to have a great week. And I will be back with some more fun videos. I have just been having so much fun with my blissfully fed detox group. We are in it doing great and um, I will be able to get some more content up this coming week. So thank you so much for watching and I will be back with another video soon.